What's going on guys, Balkan Architect here and in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to create this cool zigzag stair in Revit. So I'm always looking to find out new cool ways how to create some awesome stairs in Revit and I just found these pictures and I thought it would be cool to try to recreate something like this in Revit. But before I get started I would just like to ask you to like this tutorial, it helps me out a lot with the YouTube algorithm and also if you haven't already I suggest you subscribe because I make useful Revit tutorials each week. Also, one more thing, if you want to get kind of uh, extra tips and tricks and hacks for uh, stairs in Revit and if you want to completely understand the stair tool in Revit, I have a course on that, a one hour course on stairs. So check that out, first link in the description, it's up on my Patreon, there you can get access to all of my advanced courses, they are all one hour long, I've got 23 courses so far, and also you will get access to all of my Revit project files, I've got like 300 files so far on there. Okay, with that out of the way, let's get into the uh, tutorial. So I'm here in Revit and I'm just going to be using the architectural template for uh, this project, just a simple uh, template, and then we're going to be modifying the stair. So to modify the stair, first we need to create the stair. So I'm just going to go here to stairs and uh, just do from level one up to level two. And just for properties, make sure that you have your assembled stair selected. So just make sure that this is the type. So you don't want to use the monolithic stair or the precast stair, just make sure that the assembled stair is selected. So do the first click here, then do the second click here. And there we go, we have the stair. Now for this one, I'm just going to get rid of the railings just because we don't really need those. So get rid of that. And also this up arrow, I usually find it really annoying. So I'm going to remove that as well. Now, if we go into 3D, this is what that stair looked like. So this is the assembled stair. That's uh, that's basically what it looks like. And of course you have railing there, but I don't uh, really like this. Well, for our stair, we have to change it a little bit. So the first thing that we need to change is get rid of these uh, uh, these construction elements on the side. So if we go here into edit type here, you can see there uh, they are supports. So we have the right support and the left support. And in both cases, uh, it's selected here stringer closed. So if I open up the drop menu, you can see here we have the option for none. So for both the right and left support, I'm going to choose none. Hit apply. Okay, there we go. One more thing that we don't really need is the risers. So we only need the, the treads for this one and then the risers, they're not really necessary and they're actually detrimental to the design of this stair. So for that, I need to go here to construction and here we have the run type options. And if I select that, you can see here in the corner or uh, we have, or in, on this side, we have this little uh, kind of square with three dots. So if you click there, you get an additional type properties for that uh, run type. And here we have some options. So what I can do is change the options. So for risers, I'm just going to uncheck those. And also here we have slanted. I'm going to uncheck that as well, hit apply. And there we go. So we only have the treads. Now these treads are, uh, well, they're quite uh, uh, big. They're quite thick. And also here we have some nosing. So first I'm going to get rid of the nosing. So if I hit apply, there we go. They're kind of shorter now. And also here for uh, the thread thickness, we can bring that down to something like uh, 20 millimeters or two centimeters. Okay, it looks a lot better. So with the, these settings done, also one thing that I would like to change is the thread material. So I would like these to have maybe a nicer material, maybe some wood material like in one of those images that is shown. So I'm going to go here for wood. And I usually like to use the birch wood just because the graphics and the appearance is quite nice. So as you can see, it looks really cool. So I'm going to go with that one. Hit apply, hit OK, apply, OK, apply, OK. Now with that out of the way, now we can start uh, basically modifying the rest of this. So what I'm going to do now is going to go to south elevation or just go to level one and then go to this one. But that, as you can see, is the south elevation. And here we have our stairs. So 
as you can see, we have uh, these stairs that look like this, and now we need to add those kind of zigs and zags. So the construction will be only on one part, and then on the other side, it will be over here, and then on this side. And if that doesn't make sense, don't worry, it will make sense in a moment. So for that, we need to do this as component in place. So just go model in place. And before we start this, just make sure that your stairs are in a correct position, because this will be an in-place element so model in place that basically means that you can't really make any changes after you've created that element so make sure that the stair is in the right place you have all of the settings set up correctly uh, your desired number of risers your actual thread depth everything is set up correctly and now we can start modifying by creating a model in place component now here for the options, uh, we have the category and I have an option to do stairs. So I'm just going to go with that just so we can group everything under one stair. So just make sure that that is set to stairs. Okay, with that done, now we can start creating an extrusion. But before we can do that, we need to set a work plane. So I'm just going to go here to set work plane and go pick a plane and then just choose this uh, face over here. So just hover over it. If you can't select the whole face, just hover over one side, hit the tab key once or twice, and then you will be able to select that face. Okay, now we can go here for an extrusion. And then let's start from here, go up here. Then I'm going to go up here like that, complete this and then just complete the whole stair. Okay, here I kind of overshot a little bit, so I can either drag it here, or alternatively you can use the trim and extend option and trim and extend that. Now, if I hit finish and go into 3D, as you can see, this is way too thick. So here uh, for the extrusion end, I'm going to use the same thickness as we have for the threads. So that will be 20 millimeters, or that's two centimeters. Also, one more thing, the material. I want to change the material to the same material of the thread, so I'm going to go with that birch wood. So let's go here, yeah, and because it's the last one we've saved, here it appears as birch wood, so let's open that up. There we go. Now, this is only one, so uh, you have two options. Either go to south elevation, and then you can go to copy, and then you can copy this thing upward, or alternatively what you can do is you can select it and then go to edit extrusion and then basically select this uh, drawing and then copy that upward. So basically those are the two options you can use. Okay, I kinda messed it up a bit, let's move it down. So those, those are the two options you can use. I like to finish just one of these elements and then just copy it up. So I'm just going to select this one and then just go copy multiple. If you check multiple now, you can copy it, of course, multiple times. So let's copy it here. Let's go all the way up. So you're just jumping one stair in each place. Okay, there we go. Okay, there we go. So we have one side completed. Let's go into 3D. Let's see what that looks like. Okay, so what you can do now is go over here and let's go in a level one floor plan and let's select, go with the move. Make sure that constraint is unchecked. And as you can see, you can't really kind of move this around, but don't worry, there's a fix for that. So what you can do is select one of these, go to copy and then paste in the same place. So it's aligned in the same place. So now basically, if I just play around with this a bit. Okay, so as you can see, you can move it around and then you can attach it to this thing here. And then the extrusion end will be minus 1020. And there we go. And now, of course, go to south elevation and then you have to move this. So I'm just going to move it from here to here. There we go. Now just go into 3D just to make sure that it looks perfect. Okay, it does. So go back into South Elevation and you can select this element and go copy and then just go with multiple and then copy it basically everywhere where you don't already have an element. So you can just go like that and copy it all the way up. There we go. Now we can finish it here with that or not. That just depends on your choice. But in the end, we have something that looks like this. Now you can try to join these. Let's just go to finish model and then 
Let's try joining this. Okay, it doesn't work, but anyways. So the material is set to dead birch wood, so let's try realistic. Let's just see what that looks like. Okay, there we go. So we have our alternating kind of alternating construction staircase, just like we saw in that picture. So there we go. That's how you create something like this. So let's see. Can we... Okay. Can we add some shadows here? Okay, there we go. So yeah, you can even add shadows and it will look super cool. So there you go. That's how you create this uh, alternate uh, or zigzagging staircase or kind of a little snake staircase in Revit. That's how you create this design. Okay, so that's pretty much it for uh, this tutorial. Again, as I said, if you want a complete tutorial on basically all of the options you can, all, all of the tips and tricks on the stair command, I have a full course on that. First, a link in the description. Also, there you can find all of my project files and of course, the rest of my courses, advanced one hour courses. Okay, so that's pretty much it for uh, this quick tutorial. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.